to break down some of the poses that you commonly hear in a bar class. These poses might sound familiar, unfamiliar, more familiar if you have a dance background, less familiar if you haven't. But in bar, and especially in bar fitness, some of these poses would also look different than if you were in a dance school. So, we have gone through first position and second position. Right now, we are going through the parallel leg stunts. In parallel legs, as the name suggests, your feet are going to be parallel to each other. How do we check that the feet are parallel? When we look down towards your feet, tendency is for your feet, one side of the foot to turn out slightly more than the other. So just look down and make, do a check for me. Chances are one foot is slightly in a V and the other one is straight. So we're going to train the body and the mind to kind of tell the feet what you want it to do. Index toes will be a good guide. Index toes point forward. Okay, and then when your index toes point forward, your heel behind you, you want it to be directly behind the space between the second and the third toe. Draw a line back, that should be where your heel is. Now everyone is built differently, your feet might look different from mine. I just want to make sure that your parallel works for your body. Heel behind the second and the third toe. Okay, so this is your general parallel feet stance. We'll do it with hip width assist. So have your feet, your ankle bones, below your hip bones. Hip bones, draw two lines down, feet. One hand onto the bar. You might not even need it. One hand onto your outer hip, okay? Again, we'll find a weight in the center. So just rock forward and back a few times. As you rock forward, your ball of the foot gets heavier. As you rock back, your heel gets heavier. Just a few times here so we find the center of the foot. And we do that by identifying the big toe mount, the front of the foot, the little toe mount, the front of the foot, and the heel, the center of the heel. So you want to form a, tri a triangle, <laughs> something like this. The big toe mount, the little toe mount, and the center of the heel, okay? You want your weight to be equally distributed, right side, left side. And once you're standing in the center, you should feel really stable and really strong. Your weight is equally distributed not only through the right and the left, it's also equally distributed through the front and the back of the foot. Big toe, little toe, heel. And then you're all set up. Draw your shoulders back, stack your shoulders on top of your hips, stack your ears on top of your shoulders. Tailbone is pointing down, belly is drawing in, ribs in. I repeat that so many times, this is your neutral spine. Repeat it because it's so important to keep. Now keep the wall behind you or imagine a wall behind you. You're going to start to bend your knees forward. And as always, the knees will always track the second toe. Almost for everyone, the body is designed to be able to, as much as possible, track the second toe. What happens as we go into our workouts, you know, we walk. Sometimes the muscles tend to go off, so we become misaligned. And that misalignment might show up when you bend your knees. And when you bend your knees, one knee might go out to the right or the left a little bit more. One knee might squeeze in a little bit more than the other. For me, my right knee tends to be a little bit more internally rotated. So when I bend my knees, I would just need to make sure the right knee moves a little bit more out towards the right side. Okay? But no stress about that because, you know, it takes a lot of looking at your body, <laughs> noticing how you're moving to be able to identify little things like this. So if you're just starting your practice or if you're just starting to move your body, don't worry. Just get the movements in. Okay, and as you do this, as you get stronger, your body might be the one telling you like, hey, something is off there, or like, hey, maybe I need a little bit of that realignment, a little bit more consciousness and mindfulness in the movement. And that will all come. Just about two more here. But one more, I'm gonna hold it down. There you go. You're gonna pause up and down a few times. Just getting yourself ready for um, the relevant motions. So for now, our feet are still down. Very good. Gonna go eight for three more, for two more. On one, hold it there. Let's do a tailbone tuck. 
tucking tailbone under, squeeze and roll the belly in, releasing tailbone back, stretching the belly up, tuck it in, releasing back, tuck it in, releasing back. Good, keeping the knees always pointing forward and keeping the knees always bent. Now you will see this more commonly in at work when we're doing single leg stuff. So this trains you to keep the leg in a parallel even when we go into one-legged things. See how this leg is in your parallel stance and this leg is doing its thing. So this here might not feel like a lot of work, but it is training the muscles to do its thing, to stay in place when we extend one leg out and there's suddenly a lot of work here. What tends to happen if the muscle is not strong here is the leg will tend to log up and then you'll be doing it with straight leg. Keeping the knee bent always in line with the second toe is so essential to keep your alignment. All right, relevant. I'm going to ask you to turn towards your bar. Depending on the height of your bar, my bar is a little bit low on this one, but it's really okay as long as you have it for support. Stack ear, shoulder, hip, heel, one straight line. Lift your heels up, press your heels down. Up and down a few times. Again, what's the point of up and down? Just to get your weight in the center. What tends to happen is when you lift, you want to lean forward. Naturally, the body moves that way. Resist, stay in the center, shoot up, straight down, shoot up, straight down. Next one, we hold heel up, stay, bend knees towards the second toe. Notice again if the knees are going out to the sides, can you squeeze them in, point them towards the front, parallel leg. Look down at your feet, check that your feet are not doing funny things like little toe up, big toe up. Weight is equally distributed through the center of the foot. Big toe mound, little toe mound, equally heavy. Good, once we have that tailbone, check. Point it down, ribs in, shoulders back. That's it. Keeping the heels up as high as you can, take an inhale. Exhale, press down two inches, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. That's it. Just a couple more. You have five. You have four. Three more. Two. One last, hold it down. Tailbone action. Tuck. And release. It's a scoop. And release. It's a scoop. And a release. No change to the heels. No change to the legs. Last two. One last, scoop it in. Release. Find that neutral somewhere between your scoop and your release. Ear, shoulder, hip. Find that one straight line again. Now scoop your hips to the right. Back to center. Scoop your hips left. Back to center. Now this one is really fun to do. Really fun to add into your little mix of workout. But as you do this, just see if you can keep your knees in the same line. So you're not doing, you're not doing a little sway, although that's really fun. You want to keep everything in the center. Whoop, and slight scoop. So you're squeezing your oblique to bring the hip up. Not so much a hip movement, or rather not so much a leg movement, but more of an oblique squeeze, release. Good, last two. One last. Good, come back to center. Maybe challenge yourself, take your hands off the bar, check that long straight spine, ribs in, shoulders down for three, two, one. Straighten, heels down. Shake it out. Good job. And that's it. That is your parallel feet stuns. In the next video, we will be exploring how to put all of this together into a little sequence.